Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine limits on the TI-89 graphing calculator. The limit function is located under the calculus menu. To access the calculus menu, we press F3. So looking at this first limit, we have the limit as x approaches 2 of the square root of the quantity 4x plus 1. So we'll press F3, and then select option 3 by pressing 3 or arrowing down and pressing enter when 3 is highlighted. I'm going to go ahead and just press 3. And then we enter the function, comma, the variable, comma, the value we're approaching. So for this first limit, we'll enter the square root of the quantity 4x plus 1. So second, and then multiply brings up the square root. Then we have 4x plus 1, close parenthesis for the square root, comma, the variable is x, comma, we're approaching x equals 2, so we enter 2, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice the limit is equal to positive 3, which we could have found by performing direct substitution. But notice how looking at the next limit, direct substitution would not work because we'd have division by 0. So now let's determine this limit. So we could edit the previous entry. Let's go ahead and press F3 and then option 3 for limit. And now we'll enter the function. We do need a set of parentheses around the numerator and denominator to enter this correctly. So we'll have an open parenthesis for the numerator, and then x raised to the power of 2 minus x minus 12, close parenthesis, divided by open parenthesis, then we have x minus 4, close parenthesis, comma, the variable, which is x, comma, we're approaching x equals 4, so we enter 4, close parenthesis, and enter. This limit is equal to positive 7. To find this limit by hand, we would have to factor and simplify before performing direct substitution. Next, we have the limit as x approaches negative 3 of 1 divided by the quantity x plus 3. So let's go ahead and press F3, option 3 for limit. The function is 1 divided by the quantity x plus 3. Again, the x plus 3 must be in parentheses, comma, the variable x, comma, x is approaching negative 3, so we enter negative 3, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice this limit is undefined, indicated by the calculator, and this means the limit does not exist. So whenever we find a limit and the calculator says undefined, again, this indicates the limit does not exist. We should recognize this because if we were to graph f of x equals 1 divided by the quantity x plus 3, notice how we'd have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 3, which is a value we're approaching. Let's look at one more. We have the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 divided by x squared. So we'll press F3, option 3, 1 divided by x squared. We do not need parentheses around the x squared, even though we could include them if we wanted to comma, the variable x, comma, we're approaching zero, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice the calculator is telling us the limit is equal to positive infinity. But remember, infinity does not exist, so this also indicates the limit does not exist. So what we typically do, though, is say this is equal to infinity, which gives us more information about what's happening with this limit, but then also say it does not exist, which we normally indicate using DNE. I hope you found this helpful.